While flows created using Microsoft Power Automate are designed not to fail, sometimes a submitted request might need your attention. Most flows allow submitted data to be reviewed by a set of approvers. If an approver fails to respond, the request can hang up or even fail. To address this issue, reminder emails are sent to most approvers. However, if someone reports a possible issue with a request, you can check the flow run. You'll need the form submission time and the name of the submitter. If you don't know the submission time, you can find it in the SharePoint list. First, find your team and teams. From the general channel, select the files tab. Select the more button and open in SharePoint. From the left pane, select your flow list. To sort your request, select created and select newer to older. Now you can scan the request data to find the right request. Be sure the key fields like submitter, instructor, chair, or course match the request you're looking for. Note the date time the request was submitted. Now select the waffle icon and Power Automate. Select My Flows and the Share With Me tab. Select the name of your flow to open the details page. You'll find flow runs in the 28-day run history window. Notice the start link for each run and its status. The status of succeeded doesn't mean a flow request ran without issues. For example, if an incorrect email was submitted, a flow check informs the submitter to resubmit their request and then terminates the run successfully. Using the date time for the request, select the start time for the flow that most closely matches. Likely the status of the flow is running. Select the data is added to the SharePoint list folder and select the data is added to the list action. Scroll down to the output section. Review the data in the body fields to confirm you found the correct request. Once you have found the flow, find the yellow pie chart icon. Select to open folders until you see the action. The flow is waiting for this action to complete. Likely the flow is waiting for an approver's response. Contact the approver and ask them to respond. If the flow is close to timing out, a flow must finish within a 28-day window, you might consider restarting the run. That said, if multiple approvers have already approved, this might not be the best option. Once a design flow is in working order, it is very uncommon for it to fail. Microsoft sends weekly failure notification emails for any flow that has runs that have failed. Within a failed run, the failure message will explain the problem. If you can't figure out what the message means, contact CTS or CCI for support. If the run failed at or before the first approver, you might try restarting the flow run to see if it works on a second try. Select Resubmit and select the OK button. If you don't see your request on the Details page, select the All Runs button in the 28-day run history window. If you still don't see it, scroll down and select the Show More button to see additional runs.